Joseph leans in and then tips it in. Beautiful play from the backup point guard, Corey Joseph. He's a good defender, and he looks to score. The young man, just his second year out of Texas, who spent a majority of the year in the D-League, but really came on late in the season, and here in the playoffs, he's been huge. Another draft choice that the Spurs got right. His development hasn't been as quick, but this guy is tough, and he's sound. Greg Popovich was saying earlier that Corey Joseph is the first player he's had in San Antonio who asked to be sent down to the D-League. Send me down to the D-League. I'm not getting enough time up here. I'm getting rusty. I need to go down to the D-League and play better. Uh, Corey's a pretty calm guy. Going up and down actually was pretty good for him. Like, and he, I think he knew that going up, going down to the D-League helped in his development. And he wasn't like too much in a rush, you know, and myself, the whole, all of us would talk to him, like, you know, not to be in too much of a rush, you know, takes time. In their organization, they don't talk about sent down, they talk about an opportunity. And it's, it is the way you look at it from a player perspective. He understands the big picture, he understands the big picture in his development. For someone so young, the way he's such a very smart kid and the way he thinks about things is, is, is very, mature for his age, you know, just wanted to go down to the D to get better. Lots of players at his age would think, oh no, I'm ready for the NBA now, I should be started, I should be get doing this, doing that. But him realizing that, okay, I need to keep working on my game, it's not helping me to sit on the bench, let me go get better. That's just a very mature decision and now you see how mature he is by just playing in the finals. His numbers won't certainly fly out at you, but he has played very well. I don't know if there's a Corey Joseph backup point guard fan club <laughs> but if there is I'm a charter member his work ethic the way he defends and how he gets those 50 50 balls and Greg Popovich has some confidence in him well I think on that team with like with three superstars it kind of makes it easy to just kind of go and fit in so it's a lot better you go there you fit in do your stuff play some defense work you work on your game a little bit in the meantime you know, he knows his time will come where he can get a chance to take some shots. So, you know, it's a little easier when you have, like, three superstar guys to guide you and help you along the way. Oh, he's embraced it. He knows that, you know, at every opportunity, he's got to make the best of it. He goes out there, he just plays as hard as he can, you know. And everybody wants to play more minutes, and everyone wants to, you know, be a star one day. But it takes hard work, and, you know, I always remind him that. You know, he got Tony Parker as the starting point guard. He, Tony Parker's worked really hard in his life. You can see how good he is. So he's going to keep working, getting better, and, and one day he'll come if he keeps doing that. I love when guys don't have it handed to them. They've had to work for it. They've had to persevere. And to see the player he came in as a couple years ago and what he's doing now, look, just, just running hard, defending hard. He has become the backup point guard after spending much of the season in the D-League, he has given Greg Popovich some excellent minutes in the playoffs. It's very impressive. It just builds character. It just shows that, you know, if, if you stay locked in on the goal and, you know, obviously, you know, the ups and downs of the D-League and bringing and send back up, but that's just part of, you know, being a pro. You know, you're going to have the times where, you know, things are going to go good for you, but then you have times when things are going bad. At the end of the day, he's at the finish line and he's at the finals. and. You know, I'm excited for him. It feels like I'm in the final. So I'm going to go there and support him because, you know, if he wins it, it's like, you know, it's like Toronto won. You know, we all, we all won an NBA championship because of what Corey's doing. It was big time. Yeah, it's amazing, you know. From just the other day, he felt like he was just in the NBA, you know. Now he's in the NBA finals. I'm planning to make a trip to go see him in the NBA finals. It's almost surreal, you know, thinking about how big of a stage it is. It's, um, it's unbelievable for me. Wow, couldn't be better. Like, you know, like to have my kids play basketball, a dream, like a game that I love. And then have your sons come up and play basketball, I have a daughter play basketball too. And basically to have them come and play basketball, it's just like a dream come true.